Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 everyone. How are we doing? Thank you very much for joining. You guys are absolutely awesome. Hope you're all good. What's up? <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys. You guys are amazing. Please do share this out. And also, if you do want to support this artist, please do check out my shop, which is called inkanima.com. That's inkanima.com. The link is in my bio. I've got 20% off sale on there. So let's kind of work on embellishing this artwork, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully everyone's doing good. How's everyone doing? Can you guys hear me, see me? Can you do a check? Can you guys hear, see everything? Okay, so we're gonna embellish this artwork. And what embellishing means is you get to add extra details to an artwork that you've created before. And the embellishment is between a it's between a print and an original. It's more of a limited edition. So this is a print that I sell on my website, and it's awesome, and it does very well. But what I want to do is embellish this particular artwork, and. Um, improve it and, and have the one-off that we're gonna do. Yes and yes. Okay, awesome. I'm glad you guys can hear us uh, and, and hear me and see this. Okay, good. So this is one. I did actually embellish one before, private. I've done a few private embellishments, which uh, are always popular. Excellent, thank you. And the last one I did on Periscope actually was this one. I never got around to print on the website yet. This is the last one that I did on Periscope. Do you guys remember this? It was the Lion Canvas. These are all sold out, by the way. And this is the last one left. And um, it's, what I did is this is a canvas print and I embellished it by adding extra detail to it. You know, there's like, there's splatter, there's, there's silver, there's gold. Very, very cool. So now we're gonna be adding Another one. So we're going to work on another one. And hopefully the connection stays. I'm using OBS. Uh, it's been a long time since I used Periscope Producer. But we're using Periscope Producer, which is quite exciting actually, um, to use this setup again. And I haven't done this in a while, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in an old school TV frame right here. Look, I am actually in a box. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny. All right, so let's kind of add, you know what, I've always wanted to add more detail to this artwork for a while since I've had this. Uh, this is one of my earliest artworks that I've produced. So um, I'm looking forward to just kind of adding, basically what I want to do is I want to add more floral work and then we can add like silver colors and stuff to this, which would be really cool. Let me see, it's very bright. Let me see if I can fix this brightness on this screen. It's very bright here. So um, if I, okay, do that. Drop the brightness just a tad. This one, it's a little bit bright on here, but this will be available on, um, as the original will be available. I did post it on my YouTube. If anybody else hasn't already, please do share this out. That'd be really cool. We're just gonna have a little chilled out.
It's been a long time since I've done used Periscope producer like this. Do you guys prefer it like this, or do you just prefer the camera pointing down in a, a portrait way? Because then obviously you don't see me. I'm not sure if you guys even if that's a bonus or not. It's just different having me in the little screen down there. Whittling, that's it. Whittling, yeah. Carving using various tools. I think he roughs out with the bandsaw, yeah. Whittling is the word I was, I was looking for. Brilliant. You like this, thank you. It's always fun when you go back to an artwork like this and you just don't know how it's gonna turn out. Sometimes it's very scary, but embellishing artwork, I recommend every artist should do this because if you already have a print available, which you sell, then that's a good thing because you're not working on the original. The originals, my this original sold two years ago. So what's good about this is that you can experiment and be like, okay, you know what? If I was creating this right now, and I didn't follow the project rules, what would I create? What would I do to it? I would definitely like, I would definitely thicken certain these lines up. I would definitely add more pattern work in certain areas. Like if I did this again, you know, because compared to, in fact, let me, uh, I need to add a certain, I need to add a, um, Warm grey number five for me. I need to darken this for me. I'm just gonna darken this artwork. The latest artwork that I created is a rhino, which I really, really like. It's had a really good feedback. A lot of people are interested in it. The original is still available, by the way, guys. If anybody's interested in the original, it's available on the website right now. The only other originals which are really available are the Rhino, the Swan, and I think that's it. The Fire Bear sold recently, Poseidon, the Seahorse is sold recently, uh, the Owl is sold. I only have two originals left. Well, I just realized two originals.
oh, Nina, you're that Nina. I was wondering which Nina. I was like, Nina, I recognize your name, but I don't know where from. Yes, Team Halloumi forever. How you doing? We, we, uh, we should have won. This original just recently sold as well. The Fire Bear. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I think we, we were definitely robbed of the points. Oh, guys, who's seen the latest uh, foil print? It's so cool. Where is it? This is the latest foil print, guys. Where is it? Can you guys even see it? Where is it? You can't see it. You can't see it because it's. Oh my God. It's so hard to show a foil print on. Uh... It's, it's very difficult. I can't even show you this because this. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll show you the. That's the um, stag. Hey, you think you see it? Awesome. In fact, let me do this. Let me turn. Uh, let me turn autofocus back on. This doesn't even show. This has got multiple colors in. Anyway. <laughs> You love ours, amazing. This print looks absolutely amazing. It's just difficult to sh uh, see on a screen purely because it's uh, there's so much glare. But it looks really, really cool. Yes, majestic, definitely. So the four prints are available on the website. Um, I will be releasing the print soon, the owl print and also the rhino print. Uh, maybe this week or next week. I should to first get them sent off for print. Once I send off off for print, then I can add them to the website. But yeah, guys, thanks for uh, supporting on the website. You guys are doing absolutely amazing buying artwork. A lot of people in America, so thank you. Oh, you'll see. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I think everyone learns Hindi from Bollywood movies or from the uh, the songs. It's really funny. Like you meet a lot of people who uh, they know all the words to like Hindi Bollywood movies or Bhangra songs. And uh, and you could even like you could pretend like or imagine that they would be fluent of their work, you know. Uh, sorry, of the language. But um, a lot of people understand can speak it through through movies and music. What? You're looking at my Instagram for the first time, Jimmy's. Did I just say that? Yes, Niaz is in the house. What up, G? How's it going, dude? Jimmy's, how long have you been on Periscope? G, 
Jimmy's, you've been on Periscope since 2017. August 2017. And it's the first time you've been on my Instagram profile. Wow. I'm also just a drawing too to pass time. Drawing Drake. Wow. Check you out. Tag me in here when you uh, share it. I want to see how he looks. That's good though. You know why it's good that people. I'm gonna say four years, yeah. It's good that people are kind of turning to creativity during this time. It's a really good way of uh, helping your mental health and also, yeah, as like you said, killing time. But it's a good, good skill to do. It's a good skill to have once you we're kind of out of this situation. You know what, suck. That's terrible. Suck. I think. We're, hang on. Did I go onto Instagram the other day? See, I have. I, I've turned all my notifications off for my Instagram purely because I get too many notifications. But I went on one time, and there was like twelve notifications from you, and I was like, nah. Suck hasn't even seen anything. <laughs> exactly. That's good. I can't draw. My drawing is worse than so on. If you can imagine that, I can't imagine that. No. Yeah, it's a good way. Yeah, I had no idea you were so prolific or that you worked in 3D. <laughs> um, I like to put my hands to anything creative, really, because I'm a, a practical person. If I put my, if I find that there's a practical task, and I try to put my uh, my hands to it, I could pretty much do it. You know, I tried um, hot foiling for the first time. Did really well at it. Metal making, woodwork, uh, sculpture making. Pyrography, pyrography, but the sculptures though, I do need to get back in that. I, I've only produced three so far. My first ever one that I did, I kept because it was my first ever one, and it was at Falcon. And the other two are sold. They're in, they are currently living in America. Yeah, it's from. The live stream the other day, I went back and bombarded your likes. <laughs> I thought so. Made you feel bad. Good. The best one she did was the cushion on the car. <laughs> you know what, um, Nina? That was so bad. I literally thought it was um, a roof rack or something. Who puts a tire on top of a? Who puts a tire on top of a roof? I want to get a pottery wheel, would be so cool, yeah! I mean, I'm not that good to get a pottery wheel because I use air drying clay because I don't really want to create vases or stuff or, or bowls or plates I want to use, uh, I like to create sculptures, like little figurines and uh, I've done a falcon, a lion and a wolf so far If you have a look at my Instagram profile, scroll a little bit down, you'll be able to see it Niaz, did you do uh, art at like, school?